The St. Gallen Abbey Library is one of the oldest and most important monastic libraries in the world. Its collection contains several works of great importance to European intellectual thought, dating from the library's beginnings in the 8th century to the dissolution of the monastery in 1805. Each year, around 130,000 visitors come to the library. Above its entrance is an inscription in Greek, which translates as Pharmacy of the Soul, signalling the importance of books for the human spirit. The UNESCO World Heritage Site attracts researchers from all over the world, and there are always new discoveries to be made. This manuscript dates back to the year 800 and is about holy rites. The special thing about this document is that, apart from the text written in ink, some less visible writing has been scratched onto the pages. I'm interested in this writing, since it might be in very old High German. I've only had a look at 40 pages so far, but I've already found 10 examples. <coughs> but I can't tell you what they mean yet. Another discovery was made by library vice director Karl Schmucki, the diary of a man who traveled the world in the 17th century. Georg Franz Müller came from Alsace. Between 1669 and 1682, while in the service of the Dutch East India Company, he travelled by ship to Indonesia via South Africa. He described his journey in prose, added little naive poems about the things he discovered and made wonderful drawings. When you read the diary, you can follow Müller's thoughts and you get a feeling of how impressed he was by the things he came across. You can really get an idea of this person who died such a long time ago. Schmucki was so taken by Müller's diary that he wrote a book called The Indian of St. Gallen, which was the traveller's nickname when he was staying at the Abbey. It would seem that the library still inspires human minds, just as the monks intended. Mm -hmm.